Um, and before you guys uh, begin, can we introduce our guests in the back? So here we have. I'm Sean O'Leary. My son is Eamon O'Leary, a senior here. I'm a trustee of the school. I chair the Innovations Committee, and I'm a business investor in Seattle. I'm Ruth True, uh, parent of Sophie True, um, but I'm also on the Innovations Committee and also a trustee. And I'm Elizabeth Starkian Soriano, and I'm Jonathan's mom. <laughs> okay, you guys ready to go? Yeah, uh, so we did uh, Lake Saber, which is a surf active, and this is Alex, I'm Liam, Richard, Ethan, Lindsay, Isha, and Michael. Okay, so let's start. So, you guys, might, depending on your computer, might not be working. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, so a big question, at least for us in the very beginning, was what is a surf active? Uh, we did not know when we. So, um, a surfactant is a substance that tends to reduce the surface tension of a liquid which it is dissolved in. Surfactants have a hydrophilic head and a hydrophobic tail. So, this is like a basic illustration of a surfactant. And these are the heads and these are the tails. Now, the tails like oil, which the point of our product was to collect oil and then collect oil out of water from expelled boats. And so, the water is outside and the oil is trapped in the molecule. And then we add iron to our, there's iron in the bottom of this, and that is inside the molecule, and then you can extract it with the magnet. Have the, okay, so our initial design was, uh, we were, this is a picture of it, is we were going to have it come in a small box, which would also be used for its storage. Uh, it would have a magnetic wand, which this was not actually our idea in the beginning, but it would be a magnetic wand and then a squirt bottle. And the wand would have to be long and with a powerful magnet, otherwise it would not collect, be efficient at collecting oil. And we wanted it to be small, like approximately 16 to 20 ounces, which we ended up deciding on the end. And no spray mechanism, mechanism, because um, there's <coughs> iron shavings in there, and iron shavings would get clogged in the spray bottle. And our goal was to have an easy-to-use surfactant that would fix a small boat So we had a lot of changes along the way to try to make the surfactant more effective, and what we initially were aiming for, at least with the usage of the surfactant, was making it easy to use, just three to four steps, squirt it in, and then basically plug it with the magnet. And we made changes by conducting labs on the surfactants, and the first lab we tried different starches, cornstarch, wood shavings, EDTA, sodium polyacrylate. And we tested that by basically making different surfactants with these different starches and then seeing how well they collected um, red expo marker, which simulates oil. And then for the second lab, we tried regular egg, or one thing we did try was regular egg whites, but we found that it kind of, when we made surfactants using just liquid egg whites, the solution kind of separated. So then we ended up using powdered egg whites later. And then the last thing we kind of tried was various amounts of water in the solution, like the ratio of water to other stuff. And in the end, the results that we found were the best mixture was cornstarch, powdered egg whites, and a small amount of water compared to all the other stuff in the surfactant. And our packaging ideas stayed basically the same since the beginning. And another reason we changed regular egg whites to powdered egg whites was if we used regular egg whites, it would have to be refrigerated. And then our final product, which was somewhat similar to our initial idea, it came in the spray bottle, or the squirt bottle, and had a magnetic wand. Um, it's approximately 20 ounces of surfactant inside. You do need to shake it before you use it because the iron settles out a little bit. Um, and the wand is about a foot and a half long, and there's a rectangle <coughs> magnet on the end. Something we do want to change is obviously this is a little bit makeshift, so we actually took this to be larger scale and produce more than we'd want, like our own like special mag magnetic wand rather than this. Um, and we decided on powdered egg whites, cornstarch, and <coughs> water, and the rest of the One thing we might also want to change about the wand is like make it extendable so that people on boats can easily get that to the water surface. Okay, so um, our market definition, which is who we're trying to appeal to, was environmentally friendly boat owners, so we of course had to make it uh, environmentally friendly so it wouldn't damage the water supply because that would have a nullifiable point. 
and we made it from natural ingredients that it's and it's easy to use. Just squirt it in the water and pick it up. And then it's uh, easily disposable, so you can just drop it in a bucket and then dispose of that later. And then it comes in this small spray bottle, which is easy to contain and store on a boat, which can often be a problem for boat owners because they have limited space. Uh, I was also in charge of market surveys. I talked to a lot of people down at the Center for Wooden Boats on Lake Union, which is close to my house, and then peer over by Ray's Boat House, and I talked to multiple boat owners, asked them questions about their experience cleaning up oil, and if they had much experience using surfactants. Most of them had little to no uh, experience using surfactants, most used an inflatable buoy of some sort, and uh, they were interested in using our surfactant because they said it would be a lot easier to store um, and use. So they do, most boaters do spill oil. Uh, the experienced ones less, obviously, but there is always small spills that they have a difficult time cleaning up because it's just so time consuming for using it. Okay, so what we bring over our competitors is that, well, the surfactant market, it's pretty new. There's not a lot of other companies other than pads and socks. and. Again, like Alex was saying, a big thing that our product has over many other products is that it's really easy to use. It's just three to four steps. It's relatively cheap. We're only charging $24.99 for it. And it's also really, really easy to store, which is a really big thing for people who own boats and don't have a lot of space. So for branding, so this is actually our label on the bottle right now. As you can see, it looks like this. Um, we originally had the design of the magic wand as well as the spray bottle, or the squirt bottle rather. So we wanted to kind of play with the, in our branding, kind of experiment with the magic wand, what we could do with that. So it first started with a magician, then a wizard, and we really wanted something kind of more cartoony to catch people's eye. And we ended up deciding on the wizard, and his name is um, Sir Factant. Just play out the words there. Um, yeah, we went through several different designs of this. Um, we just we like what we had now, and the, it kind of goes well with our themes. Um, yeah, so. Can you yes. pass that around? Yeah, I can pass this around totally. Um, do you want me to pass on the magic wand as well? Don't break this. <laughs> yeah, don't break this. So, oh, don't make sure you don't squeeze it. Do not. Way. Yeah, unless you really <laughs> want like acid and iron or anything. This all up on your hands. Do not squeeze it. That right, will stay in your clothes. Shake all the parts. Oh, sorry. One more thing, Art. Oh, sorry. <laughs> And our, the slogan is, with a wave of your wand, the oil is gone, as opposed to the magic. All right. <laughs> yeah, so our visual library kind of reflects all the ideas that we made in coming up with our branding and coming up with surfactant. Um, we picked the colors red and white because our product is called Lifesaver, and that's kind of, we were thinking about Lifesavers, like the life raft, so that's why we chose red and white. Um, we also, a big thing in our product was trying to mix the magical and like fun of having surfactant, the wizard, on your bottle, and also keeping it environmentally friendly, so that's why we have a lot of the pictures of the oil spills and the magic, so we kind of just combine that all together to make our product. Now, we enter the wonderful world of economics. Let's start off with the cost per unit, which came down to about $13.18 per product. This is combining all the ingredients, the iron, the HCL, the corn starch, and the target egg whites. And also, in addition to the packaging, that came down to $13.18 per unit, which is fairly expensive compared to a lot of the other products. So as a direct result, our product will be about $25, $24.99, because I got the PLCBI. And uh, our product per unit comes down to about eleven sixty one. Now, why twenty four ninety nine? Why not something more, or maybe even cheaper? Well, let's take a look at this graph here. The red line right here actually represents the percent of customers we have remaining. It's not actually this right here. That's just profit for the blue line. No, that's what the blue line represents. Here down here is the price for each individual product, as opposed to how much we make. Do to the high cost per unit, in addition to further expenses, we actually would only start making a profit past the 20 mark. 
And to pass the birdie mark right here, we judged that it would be too expensive to continue charging further. Some of our survey results said that $10 was way too expensive, and others that $40 was a fair price. So, fell down to right around here, $24.99 was the price that won. Fixed cost, lap space. As many great things come from American garages, we decided we'd start there too. So, we will be working in a free lap space a garage, one of ours probably. We are the seven employees. And our lab equipment is going to be around $200-ish, give or take, depending on what we require, if we actually <coughs> break anything, or, well, et cetera. Right. <laughs> Here we go. So here's the outlook on our finances. Total revenue per year, if we continue at this rate, making about 50 products per day, give or take, we end up with $320,000 a year. That is opposed to our high cost per, which comes down to about $290,000 a year, including employee labor, that's seven employees, seven hours a day, five days a week at minimal wage, comes down to about $118,000. It's pretty big for a small company. As a direct result, our loan's going to be fairly big, which will be paid off over a nine-month period. Our total revenue monthly is going to be about $27,000. The total cost monthly is $24,000. So total profit per month comes down to 10000 We don't expect to make as much money during our first month, but due to our product shelf life, which we hope to improve even further, any products we make at the beginning can be sold later. So it should even out to our projected 